This is one tall tower. So tall, so we can see the stars more clearly. But I'm afraid of heights. Oh, Princess Penelope, don't look down. Look up. Too late. Oh, maybe you can distract yourself by looking at the constellations instead. What are constellations? They're pictures in the sky. If you pretend there is a line connecting the stars to each other, you can make a picture. There are all sorts of pictures in the sky. Bears, a giraffe, and even a dragon. What about a princess? There sure is, and there's a crown too. I like the stars. Well, we've waited for Prince Penobscot to come and play with you. Sorry, dragon. Looks like I'll just have to make a craft instead. Would you like to join me? Or are you gonna go find the prince? Okay, my castle friends, you should have received an envelope like this with a sticker on the back telling you that it's week, that it's week two. And inside, you're going to find all sorts of fun pieces of paper. Ah. Any guesses what we might be making for? our craft today. Let me see. Okay, that's empty. You should have a nice semicircle, so a half a circle, a smaller piece of a rectangle, and a large rectangle, and some stripes of long rectangles. Let's get started. Have you got any ideas what we're making yet? Maybe some of you guessed already. We'll be making our own paper dragons. He's got a nice little wobbly head and a big long tongue. We're using uh, green and, and blue. This one I just happened to be a little pink one. We're gonna start out by making the base and this is going to be our body and we are going to fold our paper together and we're going to make a cone. And we're going to place some glue on there and glue it together. So you're going to need some glue. We are gonna be in a little bit needing some scissors to trim with. And in order to get some eyeballs going, we're gonna be also using an, um, a marker. If you're having trouble with your glue holding your uh, cone together, if you have some tape, you might want to put some tape inside just to make it a little more sturdy. So let's get started with our glue on our cone. And I'm going to put some on the edge here. And fold it over again we did earlier. So that is going to be the body of our little dragon. I'm going to put that to the side so let it set. And we have another piece that is going to become the dragon's head. This one we're going to fold over and glue together in this direction. But before we make this tube, we are going to attach a strip of white paper. 
So I'm going to put glue along the edge. And then I'm going to lay this down. And this is where I'm going to be trimming off my paper. So we get out our scissors and we're going to just trim that. Now the fun part begins. Now we're going to cut out little triangles along the way or a little zigzag line and we will cut those. So these are going to become our dragon's teeth. Oh, and as the dentist here, I'll just pull those extra teeth out. <laughs> and when we fold them over and glue them together, we have all these teeth sticking out. So I'm going to glue along this edge over the teeth and on, on the blue piece of paper. So we're going to be making a little cylinder. And if you wanted to be very fussy about it, you might make sure that your teeth line up, but it's not really going to matter how, how well your teeth lined up. You can always go in and trim off excess if you wanted the head of our dragon. We have a very long piece of green. And with this, we are going to cut the same sort of zigzag pattern that we did as well. But I'm going to fold it in half first. One half of it is where we're going to place glue onto, uh, attach onto our dragon. The other is going to be like little scales. So again, this is going to be Lots of fun little triangles along the way. There's a few spots along here. I'm just going to give a little tug. It didn't quite match up. And there we go. So this. now going to attach we're going to glue it on top of our, our blue strip and we can have a little extra depends on how long you want to make your tail but we're going to pop them out like that so along goes the glue again maybe bend every other one in a different direction so that when they stand up on your on your dragon's back we are going to glue this extra piece inside the head of our dragon so now I'll pop some more glue on there a nice good rub in there so we know he's connected and this is going to go along the, the spine of our cone so wherever your seam is on your cone we can uh, add him on there so we're going to put some glue on the back on the outside where it attached more so we want a wiggly head there but we don't want it to fall off either curl them up a bit and we had a piece of paper that was our big green piece we are going to just cut out Sort of an oval shape it's going to be our dragon's tummy 
so I'm just going to I think this one our little dragon is a little bit wide so we'll give him a narrower top so I've made it more kind of pear-shaped as you can see a little bit wider on the bottom and now I'm going to put some glue on there oh there was an extra piece of paper and we'll put that on his tummy place this on his tummy when you cut the teeth there was an extra piece of paper left over. I'm just going to fold that over. So I, I'm going to cut it in half. So I have two small white pieces and I am going to just cut a sort of a U-shaped curve at the end. And then I'm going to fold it back. So I have two little pieces of paper that that look like this. We're going to draw some eyeballs on there and we'll be able to glue them on our uh, dragon. So if you want, you can maybe give him some eyelids. So maybe put like a sort of a half moon and fill in circle. However you'd like to do your eyes, that's up to you. Um, I don't, maybe maybe you want to put some eyelashes on your dragon. Could be a high fashion dragon. So we'll get so on that bottom piece that looks like a little sort of square rectangle is where we're going to put the glue, and we can place it on our dragon here. And why not one on the other side? Eh? And I know what I didn't do properly. A nice long oval red piece. And that one, we're going to put it in as the tongue. And we're just going to score it at the edge of our scissor. And you can have a nice curly tongue if you'd like, or if you don't want a curly tongue, just kind of pull it out a few bits and it'll kind of straighten it out a little bit more and he's a little, little less tongue-tied. I'll just pop that inside his mouth. And if you still have some of your green paper left, we can fold that in half and we can just sort of cut some more zigzags again if you like. And I'm just gonna, so that by folding it in half and doing it, it's doing the same cut on both wings. And we can just fold these back like we did with the eyeballs. And we're gonna place some glue on these and we'll place them on either side of our dragon. So, let's stick one here. And, and one there. And now, you have your paper dragon. Well, if it isn't, Wendy the Witch and Princess Tanya, a royal flow princess. Jester, what are you doing here? Well, I have a few questions for you, young lady. We do love questions. Why are dragons so amazing at making music? Hmm, that's a tough one. I don't know. Why are dragons amazing at making music? <laughs> Well, because they really know their skills. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh that is uh, 
Oh, he's wonderful, Jester. Oh, Jester. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Ladies, why do dragons sleep during the day? Mm. Why do dragons sleep during the day? So they can fight at night. Oh! <laughs> night! Oh, shiny, that's funny! Brave knights in shiny oh, armor. That's, that's a good one. Oh, that just well, I have another one. I have another one. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Why can't dragons play ice hockey? Why can't dragons play ice hockey? If they breathe fire, the ice melts. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. I guess course. that makes sense. Yes, that, it does. That one is a, that's a good point, too. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play ice hockey with the dragon. No. I have one more question for you before I have to go see the king. Okay, okay, we're ready. What's the hardest thing about being a dragon? I'm afraid we do not know. Trying to blow out the candles on your birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> 